Yo, we've stopped. Why? Stretch our legs. Me back here. Careful, Bella. Mum, it's a country town. What's going to happen? <laughs> Hey guys, it's Will from Chucky Vision here. We're down here at Sydney Supernova uh, talking to Felix about occupation. How are you, man? I'm good, mate. How are you? Sorry, I was just distracted by jeans. Oh, no, you're right. <laughs> by. Um, tell me about the film. Tell me about your role in the film. Uh, I came on... I did the first film Luke ever did, Red Billabong, as like a kind of baddie, secret um, American character. And this one I play a country and western DJ who just gets thrown into it. And so he's really quite Machiavellian. And um, it was cool. Um, I got to uh, do a bit of writing on this one as well, like character passes and suggest friends that should play certain other parts, which yeah, was cool. Right. Like uh, Aaron, yeah. and because I've known him for years. But um, yeah, Luke's lovely. He's a real, he's just like a genuine collaborator. He really wants to know what everyone has to say yeah, about yeah their character and he wants to throw it in the mix if he can make it you know work and it was uh it was a very fun experience <laughs> so obviously so obviously you had the opportunity to kind of develop the character yourself a little bit in this yeah yeah i got to develop um yeah my character and and do character passes uh, like dialogue passes on a few of the others just to uh i just round them out maybe a little yeah. more and um, we're writing the sequel together, which is kind of cool. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it, it means it's very fun. It's like, do you like things blowing up? Like I couldn't believe when I saw it, I was like, that is a lot of stuff. Like I, maybe I'm old, like I'm 49. So yeah, I went to the cinema and went, my God, that is so loud. Like that is, <laughs> like I've been at a rock concert, like you feel it in your chest. It's like when the 50 cow goes off, it's like, Jesus Christ. But uh, yeah, it was no, it was a very fun experience. So I think that's always uh, a good sign when you, especially when you're making something that's difficult and you know, we're shooting fight scenes in the rain and me and Tam punching on in the rain and <laughs> you know for nights and nights and yeah. and you still have a great time. It's sort of yeah. So how have the fans been down at Supernova today? Uh, they've been lovely. I mean, the, everyone's sort of really lovely and they and they come over and they just want to have a chat and. See that you're a normal human-ish, yeah. normal. <laughs> no, the funny thing is, yeah, there is there is people who have seen some film you did, did 25 years ago, and they're like, ah, oh. like when we were, we did a sneaky preview showing in Brisbane, a guy came up to me with a DVD cover of Ned, this film I did when like I was 25, yeah. and he had the signature of the director, and, and he was waiting for mine, <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay, sure. <laughs> I was like. If, it, if you want that. Is that crazy? Like, are there things that you've done that you kind of go, oh, I forgot about that? You forget it. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. I remember Ned because yeah. um, uh, I know I just worked with Abe again on um, Little Monsters, his okay, yeah. like comedy zombie film, yeah. <laughs> which is coming out at the end of the year. And yeah, I've been friends with him forever. But yeah, yeah. No, there's, there's some jobs here you forget. Or you see a photograph or something, or someone posts a photo, and you're like, "Oh, that's right, I, I played Prince Clavor in Farscape in 1990 something." Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was wearing a pink leather kimono and had my hair cut in like a bowl. Like, why? Why? I don't think we'll see that in this, yeah, though. Yeah, I think we're safe. Surprise, man! I've, seen, I've had people posting fan cards. I was like, "You've got the." F I mean, I'm sure you could buy it here. There'll be someone who want the whole their whole collection I think that's part of the thing as a collector right you want the whole set so we get the feeling that the crew and the cast are pretty tight on this project and um, we will, we've been asking everybody if the occupation invasion was to really happen in real life like if aliens came to earth and yes. did this who would you save who would you rescue I would save uh, obviously my family and head up to uh, the Blue Mountains where Aaron lives and just live in a cave or something, I suppose. I was going to ask you what would your tip be to where would you hide, but um, we'll yeah, move on. Yeah, it's Janolan Caves. Janolan Caves, underground, safe. The uh, alien technology can't see you. Because the alien technology has trouble looking at anything with um, too much life in it because their, their planet has, uh, it doesn't have as much life. So who is the massive hero, not in the actual film, but who's the hero guy on set? Who's the, the tough guy? Luke's bloody tough, man. <laughs> He's the tough guy. The director. I mean, he doesn't. Yeah, he just he just went past then. Perfect. No, um, 
Yeah, I remember it was too late to shoot this thing and we had like a whole wall of explosions they'd set up and they just completely ran out of time and you know, it's a, it's a lot of money when you've got all these people standing around and they lost the light and they needed the light to do the, for the story, for all the stuff to blow up and Luke's like, ah, oh, darn it. So what's happening in your world, like Occupation's coming out on the 12th of July? It's coming out. Uh, Necromancer is coming out with Monica Bellucci, she's pretty amazing. La Bella, La Bella, she's pretty, she's like 53 and like, it's amazing. And then it's a very funny story too, it's a clever script. And uh, Little Monsters, Abe's films coming out. I'm writing on the sequel for the next little while. And then I have my own um, uh, web series uh, going to all these different um, festivals around the world. So the first one's Melbourne in two weeks. And uh, yeah, so I'm doing a lot more writing and directing. Oh, I'm about to do a little bit on uh, another film, Palm Beach, with uh, Richard E. Grant, and which Aaron's doing as well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, just a bloody hodgepodge of. And it's my daughter's tenth birthday tomorrow, so I won't be here tomorrow. I gotta <laughs> get home and be a parent. And yeah. that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> it's way it's way harder than sitting around signing stuff. It's really, it is. All right, well, thanks for the chat, man. It's great no to catch worries. up with you. No worries. Thanks, man. What's the plan? Save the planet. That's the plan.